This video is the continuation of the previous one what is culture I have mentioned in that that in the name of culture we are making a grave mistake every single day of our lives without even realizing it Can you guess what it could be You do not need to squeeze your brain for this because the answer lies on your very plate and the clothes that you wear Let's talk about our food choices Have you ever wondered why you do not mind eating fried chicken but are disgusted by the idea of eating fried monkey Why do you eat mutton biryani but not rat biryani and how come you are okay with drinking cow's milk but never even thought of drinking pig's milk If your 6 year old child asks you such a question how will you respond to that In a typical Indian family your parents will either simply brush off the question or shut you up by calling you disrespectful for questioning your elders The truth is we do not consume these because our culture taught us not to and we are not supposed to question our elders no matter how insensible they are because our culture taught us that too most of us consume meat eggs and dairy not for the betterment of our health for balancing the ecosystem or to intentionally harm animals the only reason we continue eating animal products is because we have become accustomed to them we have been fed all these from a very tender age which is exactly why we are unable to even realize the extreme amount of cruelty we are partaking in every single day Since we are so used to viewing animals as commodities, we have completely forgotten the fact that they can feel pain, fear and pleasure just as much as we can. It is odd that although the Hindus eat goats and chickens, they consider beef consumption as an extremely sinful act. Muslims consume cows and goats, but they do not eat pigs as they perceive them to be filthy animals. Christians on the other hand do eat pigs, however, consider those who kill and eat dogs to be heartless. Now, If you decide to kill and eat a monkey, everyone mentioned here will unanimously be repulsed by your idea. On another note, since the peacock is our national bird, one can be imprisoned if he is caught harming and killing the animal. Similarly, in America, the bald eagle is the national bird. Hence, harming and killing this bird is a serious offense there. Apart from this, endangered animals are also protected by the law. What we can observe from this is we merely look at animals as a symbol of pride or as beautiful possessions that should continue to exist for us instead of ever taking their quality of life into consideration in fact how many of you would rather choose to adopt a stray dog if you decide to have a pet you instead purchase what you assume to be the cutest dog from a breeder just the way you would pick up your favorite pair of shoes on a sale you would snatch away a fish's freedom and happiness just so you can obtain happiness from their captivity you would clip off a bird's wings and disable it from flying just so you can amuse yourselves from their confinement from where did we learn this this idea of objectifying animals for selfish reasons had you been born in china instead of india you would have been relishing on dog meat had you been born in thailand you would have been helping yourself to some fried worms what can we deduce from this Your food habits have been laid out to you centuries ago by your ancestors. Oh, we do not eat beef. How disgusting. We cannot eat pork. How sinful it is to kill and eat a dog. Such claims against other people's food habits are not yours to make because abstaining from dog meat is not a principle that you hold on to because you care for dogs. You merely mimic the people around you. That doesn't deserve any credit. Many who are watching this video are well educated and distinguished individuals. It is unfortunate that despite all the knowledge that they possess, they fail to realize that unless they contribute for the betterment of the society, their education holds little to no value. Isn't education supposed to encourage a person to think critically and analyze things? Did you actually spend all that time, money and effort in school and college just to be a puppet of your ancestors instead of questioning what they have passed on? when educated people such as yourself are accepting things blindly and do not possess the courage to make change and move society forward then who will i am not here to belittle your ancestors nor your customs the reason i made this video is to ask you why do you blindly follow what they have said many years ago without question let me give you a small example when i say it is wrong to use and exploit animals people say hey you keep talking about veganism but if our ancestors had never used animals to till soil back in the days everyone would have starved to death let me respond to that statement but please do not get offended about it now to enslave and use a bull for one's needs and then sell it off to a slaughterhouse once they get too weak to work is this something to be proud of i'm sure now you'll all ask so are you telling me that our ancestors should have starved to death in case you do not have a pen what will you use to write a pencil if you don't have a pencil either 
you would use a chalk piece or a piece of charcoal right you surely wouldn't consider cutting yourself and writing with your own blood as an option right humans began using cows for farming only because they viewed animals as an option to be exploited they never for once considered using their children to till and plow the soil similarly they should never have considered bulls as an option to be used for their benefit today even after developing such advanced technology it is a crime to continue to exploit animals by giving such ridiculous excuses respect should never come with age but rather with the way one conducts oneself do not discredit the facts that someone gives you just because he or she is younger than you and just because someone is elder to you does not by any means make everything the person says right in fact accepting facts given by those who are younger to us reflects our wisdom and maturity now this is the message i want to give out animals and humans have far more similarities than differences when you think about it both of them can feel pain and fear and both have a deep desire to live freely in this world because both of them are sentient beings having understood this you must realize that it is 100% immoral to use an animal be it for food clothing entertainment in the name of culture or for scientific research just because everyone does something just because we have learned this behavior from our ancestors and just because our government declares it to be legal exploiting animals does not all of a sudden become ethical when you realize this truth and make the connection you will understand why being vegan is a moral obligation just the way you live life without intentionally harming any human being only when you live vegan will you be able to live your life without intentionally harming the animals if you want to learn more about veganism please do subscribe to my channel and watch the other videos i have uploaded i am positive you will get a lot of new information from them and do not forget just because the vast majority of people do something does not make it the right thing to do please think about it and do go vegan thank you